Uh, I think the subnational governments have a better position in terms of the connection with the stakeholders all around the, the country. So uh, we know better the territory, we know better people, and we are uh, a first uh, term connection between the, the people, the citizens, and, and the government. So all the policies that we can, we can develop at a subnational level is mm, it, it can, can uh, be used as a pilot for a national implementation policies in, in first term. And then uh, we can also provide information and, uh, and establish a regional uh, strategies in all, all around the, the country because, um, uh, for instance, in Mexico, where uh, I am from, we have many different situations between the north and the south and the southwest of the country and, and the population and, and the culture uh, is more uh, related with industrial policies in, in the middle of the country and the Bajio region or even in the north of them. And other sectors are, other regions are more related with tourism and different kind of uh, industrial development. So. Knowing this, uh, for a national government, it's uh, quite difficult to identify a national policy without the subnational government. So in this way, we are trying to implement and to prove some ideas that can be uh, developed as a subnational policies that then, after the, 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 the local implementation, could be a good idea to, to have it in a national policy and, and how the states can be part or can help the national government in order to uh, complain their uh, uh, purposes in terms of MDC and the, and the international agreements and how can we uh, help the national government uh, to uh, reduce their emissions or even more, how can we produce no uh, ideas in terms of uh, uh, adaptation and vulnerability reduce of the population regarding to their uh, own culture, their own historic, local history, and, and, and that. Uh, so I think subnational governments is a very important uh, part of this, uh, of the change, of the, of the chain in, in terms of how can we go together up to the decarbonization and, and, and that's why we are very interested to be participative in, in this kind of events and this kind of meetings in order to provide some local information. We have developed a, a local policy and a local carbon market with the support of a climate group and under two coalition. And in first time we have developed the decarbonization pathways and then when we wanted to start the implementation, we start with the, the question who's gonna pay for the for the decarbonization pathway. So we establish a carbon market based on a carbon tax. So we have now reduced about 12% of our uh, total emissions in the state. We produce only 12 million uh, tons of CO2. And we have by now compensate inside the state and inside the, the supply chain of our companies about uh, half million tons in, in the state of Querétaro. So we are trying to uh, stay in touch with our other uh, subnational governments in Querétaro, especially in the Bajío region, with Guanajuato or Aguascalientes or Jalisco in order to reply this kind of, uh, of policies. And, and then give, give, of, give the opportunity to the national government to have certified reductions to present in the international agreements.